welcome back friends in this video we'll be talking about autoimmunity now first of all what is autoimmunity autoimmunity is simply the alteration of your immune response against your own cell right now uh, a very very important process of immunity or very important property of our immune system is to detect so to distinguish so let me write it here distinguish to distinguish between self and non self right so this is this is very very vital fact for our uh, immune system for any immune system to distinguish between the self and non self things right so self molecules and non self molecules they are having this ability that's why they are our cells right now if they forget to do this thing if if they forget to or if if they, if uh, they fail to recognize self molecules as self and non self as non self they can be dangerous they can harm other things right for example they if, if they start uh, if they start uh, recognizing non self as a self right so let me write if they start recognizing non self as safe so if they recognize non self as safe so as a result of that it will lead to trouble so it will lead to uh, the dangerous effect of non self molecules so pathogenicity pathogenicity never resolves or if they recognize self as non self or as as threat so they'll start killing self molecules so in this case of autoimmunity we are going to see that in both these ways they are hampering their own immune system via fault recognition right so let's move on now here we call it, it, it is called uh, the recognition or the property of recognition and distinguish between self and non self it is called tolerance right now this tolerance can be divided into two different parts central tolerance and peripheral tolerance in central tolerance what we are talking about simply we are talking about or tolerating their uh, self uh, peptide molecules or self molecules as their own uh, and obviously now in this case what we can see that primary lymphoid organs inside the primary lymphoid organs during the detection of uh, the different t and b cell maturation remember if we talk about thymus which is a region for t cell training now during the training what we've seen that uh, that thymus thymocyte cells or the immature t cells they are uh, provided with some kind of self as well as non self pathogen so let me write it here in this way so let's say this is a cell which is having a self uh, molecule this is another cell which is having let's say non self molecule in both this case t cell so which is a black in color uh, it 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 is provided and it is made to attach with all these components now in both this case they are trained to recognize self as well as they are trained to recognize non self right but for example say in these cases which are unable to recognize self as self are killed and obviously which are unable to recognize non self as threat are also killed now during the selection of thymocytes uh, during the process of t cell development if any mistake is done if we faultly kill those one which are destined to uh, pick right ones in those cases it can lead to the failing of central tolerance now the failure of central tolerance can lead to the generation of auto immune disorder autoimmune disorder so this is kind of response right now in in many cases in many disorders we can see in both the way it fail to recognize central tolerance as well as peripheral tolerance peripheral tolerance is where we are talking about uh, the circulation so in blood circulation system also we can have different situations to to recognize some foreign invaders and our normal cells but during this peripheral also it can produce problems now in many kind of uh, autoimmune system where you can see the cell or cellular system fail to recognize the pathogen both the way central as well as peripheral tolerance those case it will stay set into autoimmunity or autoimmune disorder right now uh, what what do we mean by immunity immunity is something which we gain after the response or injection of a particular type of foreign uh, antigenic molecule now autoimmunity means we are we are providing we are developing immune response against immune response against our own cell right our own cells our own molecules right so that's that's what is pathetic 
Now let's say failure of central tolerance, how it is achieved. Now the failure of central tolerance can be achieved in three or four different ways. First of all, it could be a molecular mimicry. It could be inappropriate expression of class 2 MHC molecules. So as a result of inappropriate expression of class 2 MHC molecule during the development of T cells in thymus and other B cells in bone, bone marrow, in all these cases, it will lead up to, uh, so say if, if there is no expression of MHC molecules, so there is nothing for the selectivity because you remember I have I've drawn this picture that in this case what you've seen that the self and non-self molecules both of them are showcased to our T cell or B cell via this 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 MHC molecule so we, we supply them via this MHC molecule and if there is a malfunctioning of the MHC production what it lead to it leads to uh, so there will be nothing to showcase right so as a result of that it can set to uh, this kind of central tolerance failure Right, and also polyclonal activation of B cell is another important fact. So you can see here by the result of polyclonal activation, that means that particular B cell can produce a set of different different type of antibodies. Right, so polyclonal activation, so many different antibodies. So normally, what we know that particular B cell is destined is a very very specific for binding with a particular antigen. But these polyclonal cells can bind with different type of epitopes. So they can recognize many different epitopes. They can even recognize self-peptide as a foreign and it can provide the signal to kill them. So that's the problem, right? So they can, these this B cells can, this, this polyclonal B cell activated uh, malfunctioning B cell can produce antibodies which are going against. This antibody will go against our own cells, right? So that's a problem. So that's how it's worked. In some weakly self-reactive clones also, T cell and B cell can survive the negative selection. Remember about the negative selection? Negative selection means uh, during the development of T cell and B cell, there are two types of selection, positive and negative. In the positive selection, it was checked that whether it is perfectly binding with uh, a foreign pathogen or not. In the negative selection, it was uh, provided with a self molecule and it was allowed to recognize the self one. Now in this condition, if they recognize the self, is uh, is not there so it will start recognizing self as non-self and start killing them and in those conditions if these these are the type of cell that are present which are recognizing self as non-self and killing them normal conditions uh, other cells are there to kill this kind of T cells because we don't want these T cells in our body because these are dangerous these are not destined to fight against infection but somehow if these T cells survive if this T cell manages to survive, it can lead to this autoimmune disorders, right? During the peripheral tolerance also, we can find the inactivation of self-reactive T and B cells, right? And obviously, uh, as a result of what? It's, it's a, it can be a result of absence of co-stimulatory signals. Remember, there are two types of signals that are important. So if I draw this structure, so let's say, let me take a color. So this red color thing, this is, uh, say, uh, the antigen presenting cell or APC. And let's say this one, this blue color thing is T cell, a T helper cell, right? So in this interaction is between, first of all, a T cell receptor from T cell and MHC molecule from APC. And the second interaction is via the co-stimulatory molecule. Like the co-stimulatory molecule coming out of this T cell is called CD28 and obviously coming out from this APC is called B7. So if any kind of modification in this co-stimulatory molecule like B7 and CD28 can lead to malfunctioning of this recognition of this antigen via MHC molecule, so as a result T cell will not be activated properly, as a result it can make uh, several different problems, right? And also there are some presence of inhibitory signals like CTLA receptor. So if these inhibitory signals always present, they can also block the activity of our actual immune response right now these are some diseases which are associated with uh, different kind of autoimmune disorders and among them I won't encourage to memorize all of them but some of the uh, examples you can remember the example is say here a spontaneous infertility caused by the failure in the sperm cell which is due to the autoantibodies production now, obviously we can find in Graves disease we are going to see how exactly and what exactly happening in Graves disease as well as we are going to see uh, this one say uh, grave is this 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 disease right so in both these diseases we are going to see and obviously you can remember this one autoimmune hemolytic anemia due to the rupturation of RBC in this case so let's move on so these are the mechanism of how autoimmune system can lead to dangerous effect now let's say this is a cell so it, this is in case of Graves disease 
so graves disease is a autoimmune disease caused by the self auto antibody now let's say here normal signaling is there so this is the hormone synthesizing cells or th thyroid cells now this is pituitary gland which is secreting thyroid stimulating hormone the usual process is thyroid stimulating hormone will come and it will bind it with the th receptor a TSH receptor found onto the surface of thymocytic thym cells or thyroid cells and then it will sim simulate the secretion of hormones. Now as they produce the secretion of hormones, this hormone will provide a signal to the pituitary that yes I have got the signal, I produce enough TSH so st stop providing more signal. So it will provide an acting as a negative control, it is telling this pituitary to stop secreting that and pituitary stop secreting TSH. And then uh, we are having a moderate and balanced balanced concentration of this particular uh, hormone like thyroid hormone but what happens during this Graves disease there is an auto antibody which will come and they can bind with the receptor via mimicking the structure of TSH remember this is TSH molecule but here this autoimmune antibody can come and sit onto this TSH receptor and it will block the TSH receptor as it is blocking the TSH receptor so it is a block now as it is blocking the TSH receptor, so it still uh, provides some signaling to the to intracellular place and it will tell the cell to start secreting lots and lots of this thyroid hormone. But remember, in the previous case, there is a negative feedback to control this process. But in this case, as there is no TSH, so there is no negative feedback, so feedback is blocked and it starts secret synthesizing more and more thyroid hormone. As a result, it is it will increase the thyroid hormone concentration concentration as a result it is hyperthyroidism it will cause in hyperthyroidism so this is a kind of example in this Graves disease and this is another example uh, it's a disease called uh, myasthenia gravis and in this disease the same type of action is taken up by this autoimmune antibodies so you can see in this picture so let me change the color here okay now in this is what we can see that from the nerve ending it releases acetylcholine as a packet of glue and this acetylcholine will come and it will bind to the receptors present onto the surface of muscle cell and as it will bind it will help the muscle to provide the muscle cell activation or muscle contraction and the rest of the part but what will happen in this disease uh, there are autoimmune antibodies they will come and sit onto the receptor of this uh, muscle cell as a result no further acetylcholine can come and bind due to this result muscle activation is blocked and inhibited throughout this place so these are the different regions of activation or, or, or blocking of different cellular functionality using auto auto antibody right so this is via auto antibody so this is how uh, it works and i hope that's helpful thank you